So here, we're still subtracting a fraction from a mixed number. But this time, we can't subtract the fraction from the fraction in the mixed number. So first, we have 2 and 1 third, but we need to subtract 2 thirds, and there's only 1 third in our mixed number. So what we can do is exchange with our whole number. So 1 less than 2 is 1, and that gives us 3 more thirds, so we can add the denominator to the numerator. 3 plus 1 is 4, so 1 and 4 thirds is the same as 2 and 1 third. So now we can take 2 thirds away. We still have our 1 whole, but 4 thirds minus 2 thirds is 2 thirds, because the denominator stays the same. So that gives us our answer. Next we have 3 and 1 fifth, and we need to subtract 4 fifths. But if we only have 1 fifth, we can't take 4 fifths away. So we need to exchange one of our wholes for 5 more fifths. 1 less than 3 is 2, and that means we have 5 more fifths, so we can add the denominator to the numerator. 5 plus 1 is 6, so 2 and 6 fifths is the same as 3 and 1 fifth. But now we can take 4 fifths away. So 2 minus nothing is 2, and 6 fifths minus 4 fifths is 2 fifths. So our answer is 2 and 2 fifths. Finally, we start with 2 and 1 quarter, but we need to take 3 quarters away. So we need to exchange with our whole number. 1 less than 2 is 1, and that means we can add the denominator to the numerator. So 1 and 5 quarters is the same as 2 and 1 quarter. But now we can take our 3 quarters away. We now have 1 whole and 5 quarters minus 3 quarters is 2 quarters. So 1 and 2 quarters is our answer. It's easier to understand what's happening here if we show the fraction bars. So for this first question, we had 2 and 1 third, so that's 2 wholes and 1 third, but we needed to take 2 thirds away. So what we did is split one of our wholes into thirds. That gave us one whole and four thirds. So then we could take two thirds away to give us one whole and two thirds as our answer. So that's what's left in blue. Then we started with three wholes and one fifth, but we needed to take four fifths away. So we changed one of our wholes into fifths. That meant we had two wholes and six fifths, so we could take away one, two, three, four fifths, and that meant we were left with two wholes and two fifths in blue, so that was our answer. Finally, we had two and one quarter, but we needed to take three quarters away. We changed one of our wholes into quarters, and that meant we had four more quarters, so we could add the denominator to the numerator. That gave us one whole and five quarters. And you can see that we have five quarters here because each of these pieces is one quarter and we have one, two, three, four, five of them. So then we could subtract one, two, three of those quarters to leave us with one whole and two quarters of this fraction bar shaded blue. So that's one and two quarters. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.